Is Wendy's chili in a can as good as Wendy's chili in the restaurant? Stay tuned here on the Joel TV to find out. Yo guys, welcome back to the Joel TV. So as you see on the title, today we've got Wendy's chili in a can with beans. So I got this at Walmart. I think it was like four something for 15 ounces. Decent price. I do love Wendy's chili. Haven't had it for a little while, but back when I used to have it, like in the restaurant, I'd always love it. They'd have sour cream, hot sauce, crackers, all that stuff to go with it. So let's check this out. 470 calories for the can, which is 15 ounces. 11 grams of total sugar. 29 grams of protein between the meat and the beans. That's a lot of good protein. Made with all natural beef. Heating instructions it shows on the back. You can do stovetop, you can do microwave. I feel like stovetop, you're gonna get the best quality. So I know microwave is faster, a minute or so, and it's ready to eat, but I'd rather wait five, five so minutes to get the best quality, best flavor. So let's go ahead and head to the stove now. Okay guys, so here's the chili after being heated up on the stove for a few minutes. Today's video is kind of like a two piece, it's like a two part rating. So one, I'm gonna rate it like just how good is it as in chili. And then two, is it better than Wendy's chili in a restaurant or does it taste identical? How good are the recipes similar? So let's go ahead and try it guys. Got beans, meat, a little hot. Hmm. I don't have a bowl of Wendy's chili here from the restaurant to actually compare, but if my memory is good, I remember what it tastes like, so I'll be able to let you guys know if I think it's similar. I am going to add some sour cream and then some cheddar cheese on top as well. Not too much. I don't want to kill the chili flavor. Look at that cheese falling from the sky. Now, Wendy's has white crackers. I got whole wheat crackers right now. Um, should taste similar as far as the cracker goes. I think I still prefer white crackers over the whole wheat. I'm getting another spoon from like the bottom, the side without sour cream and cheese. I definitely got sugar in that. That is sweet in a good way. It's not, it's not too much sugar, but it's, it's a sweet chili. Can you hear me? Check test. Okay. So here's where I start to actually grade the chili. Do I think it's as good as chili in the restaurant? I'm going to say no. I don't think nothing beats the restaurant experience. Um, the the Red Bulls, just the Wendy's atmosphere, their dining room, all that. You got to take all that into consideration. It's not the same as eating at your house. But on the other hand, that's like the experience, the mood, um, what you see. But what you actually taste, how identical is it to that? I'd probably give it, let's go, let's go like a 9.1. 9 it's over the nine hump. I don't think it's 10 out of 10 identical. I feel like maybe because just the way they are manufacturing the cans to last so long um, to, to deliver it to stores, shipping methods, 
feel like there might have been a little tweak in the recipe compared to in-house, in-store, when they're cooking the chili there and making it. That was the similarity test, that rating. Now, as far as being chili, how good is canned chili? How good is this chili compared to, let's say, Campbell's chili or wherever else you buy chili? This is probably, let's give it one more taste. Probably like a 9.8. You're not, you're not finding many other uh, companies and brands beating this chili. I've had some good homemade chili. Um, but as far as big name brands, uh, different restaurants, chili, I don't think they're going to beat this blend. Uh, just the way the flavors combine, the texture, the appearance, it looks good. So yeah, um, I've been waiting to do this video for a little while now, just cause I had, a, you know, other videos ahead of it. There's always videos I'm planning or or filming, editing, there's always something going on. But I'm very happy that I had time today to work on this video because it's amazing. I mean, I love Wendy's chili. Definitely hits the spot on the cravings. It's amazing. So yeah, um, like I said, 9.8 taste, 9.1 on similarity. You guys did a good job. And thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Season 7 here of the Joel TV on YouTube. And I'll see you guys very soon with another video. Might be food review, might be product review. Hard to tell. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace. But the media call me a menace. I just said with the man politicians. I'm trying to change the image.